Tell me, would any of you care to try your hand at farming? Huh? You mean like digging and stuff? With grass? Not grass, Coda. Crops. Sacred ground may cover the world one day. We may not always be able to rely on Oracle Tech to feed our people. We'll need to revive traditional farming on the fertile soil of sacred ground and pass on such traditions. So who among you is up to the challenge? <laughs> We're god eaters. Eating food? Yeah, we can rock that. Making food? Not so sure. That's an interesting proposition, guys. I just don't think we've got the manpower for it. Hmm. Farming? Yes, indeed. I'll try my hand. It won't be easy to fit alongside your normal duties with blood. Are you certain, Julius? I will do everything in my power to create a better future. This task is as important as slaying Aragami. I'll gladly pursue it. That is, of course, provided my captain will permit me. Thank you, Captain. Precisely as I expected from the blood unit. Once again, I am incredibly grateful to you. We can settle on all the details later. My apologies for what happened in there. I should have come to you first before simply agreeing to their plan. I see. It makes me very glad to hear that. When the people work the land together and share its bounty, they grow and prosper and learn. <laughs> you know well that I used to try to do everything alone. I don't want that anymore. I want to work in tandem with the people here. Everyone at the satellite base, everyone in blood, and you. When I was enthralled by Rachel and teaching the God Ark soldiers, I did some terrible things. I may never be forgiven for what I've done, but at least I can show those I've hurt my remorse. I know that I need to do this, Captain. It's the only way I can make amends. Why don't you kids go and play? The God Eaters and I need to talk about grown-up stuff. But... Blood's so cool! I have come to make amends. To apologize for all I'd done into each victim of the Black Plague. Adults and children alike. Black Plague? Oh, you mean that disease? Yes. I know you were infected as well. Well, it was I who had gathered them on Friar. Frankly, I'm not sure I can forgive you. Nonetheless, I suppose we wouldn't have the sacred ground if it weren't for you either. If you use that land and those crops to make something new, then I'll consider forgiveness. Thank you. I swear to do all I can. Do you have any children, Captain? No, miss. Whatever happens, my children's safety comes first. That's the purpose of being a parent. Are you gonna build a factory to make the food, Mr. Captain Julius, sir? Not quite. We're going to clear fields and grow new fruits and vegetables there. <laughs> no way. That's not how food works. Long ago, fruits and veggies grew from seeds planted in the ground. I know it seems rather far-fetched. What's your favorite food? I really like orange flavor juice. Then I suppose the first order of business is to grow oranges. You're gonna plant juice in the ground? <gasps> hey! Hey, can my little brother and I help? Of course you may. The more the merrier. about this? Don't back down from your promises. 
I never hesitate to share hope, miss. Well, I'm certainly impressed so far. <laughs> I must admit, even I'm excited to see how it turns out. It is just a field, nothing more than potential. Now that I've plowed it, I'm going to plant some tubers. What are tubers? Potatoes, in a manner of speaking. I'm sure they will be far different than Fenrir's genetically created ones. Real potatoes growing in real fields. Take a look. But the sacred ground should be limiting your powers. How are you doing this? I have no better answer than you, Gil. One can never truly control the Earth, it seems. Can, can I eat all of that? Is it okay to? Sure. These are root vegetables. On the right are leafy ones. Farther in are citrus trees. They're almost ready to be cultivated. It certainly hasn't been easy work hitherto. But now the true labor begins. Here we can revive ancient farming and begin a new life on the sacred ground. All of us. Yeah, he won't let you down, Julius. All right, let's come up with a plan. I'll grow some daikon for fresh Odin sandwiches. I'll dig a new well. I'll design and build a house for us. How hard could it be? I suggest that we cook some chickens. So we'll always have a fresh supply of nutritious eggs. And I'll... I'll... Um... Well... I guess I'll just help out wherever I can. Sorry about that. You've always liked animals, haven't you, Sheil? Why don't you raise some here? Animals? Yes, of course! I can see it. The animals and I surrounded by nature. Thank you! And you, Captain. Will you help me in the fields? Come, this way. We're planting carrot seeds today. Man! Ooh, I'm down for the count. Keep staring at the back of your eyelids like that and you'll be out the whole night. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. I'm working. Ugh. These logs are so heavy. I don't have the strength. Fresh water if anyone wants some. Would you mind pouring me a cup? Hey, what's wrong, plant? Why are the leaves changing to such a weird color? I'm not sure. The leaves are shifting to some sort of fading yellow color. I must check my research. Hmm. Perhaps an iron deficiency. That can cause a lack of chlorophyll. An iron deficiency? Well, son, what do you know about the soil? I read a comprehensive overview before I began. I made sure to spread fertilizer in fresh lime. All right, that's a good start. Spreading lime will help lower the soil's natural acidity. If you add too much lime, the soil becomes very alkaline, which can cause an iron deficiency. Of course, too alkaline. I should have known. That's so amazing! You're like a plant doctor! <laughs> Just a trick of the trade from the old days when I worked the land. Thank you. If you have any more tricks of the trade, we'd be glad to hear them. It'd be a pleasure to offer. It's been ages since I've gone out and gotten my hands dirty. Oh, I know! Let's get S.H.I.E.L.D. to come help, too! This is gonna be so much fun!
Julius here. What is the extent of the damage? Huh? The construction site is still in one piece. The chickens survived. All the leafy vegetables are ruined, though. Damn. Unfortunately, approximately 30% of the orchard was lost following the landslide. The plots are new. The bedrock is still weak. We need to be ready in case it happens again. Yeah. We need to make sure to keep all of the little plants safe. However, if the drainage project continues as planned, the excess alkali will be easily washed away. So I guess it's not all bad. Exactly. You give the land a little, and you get a little back. Farming is about harmony. Well, luckily the house is still okay. The landslide didn't even get near it. That's the best news yet. When it's complete, we should have a celebration of our harvest. With any luck, we should have onions, potatoes, and carrots at the ready. Do you have any thoughts on dishes to serve? Yeah, I guess it's fine. I suppose so. Unfortunately, we lack the curry tree. Curry tree? You serious, Julius? Curry tree? Yes. Without the tree, we'll have no curry fruit and hence no powder. Oh, sweetie, there's no such thing as a curry fruit. Curry powder is a mixture of spices. Spices? <laughs> That's... Oh. I had no idea. I beg your forgiveness. Well, whatever magic is in curry, we gotta get some. <laughs> so wait, who wasn't laughing at that? Did you really think there's a curry tree and fruit? I hadn't questioned its existence. I'll gladly make some sweets for the children to balance the spiciness. We did it! It's our curry. Made from fresh veggies. Enjoy. I can't believe it looks so good. Can we eat it? Huh? Please? Take as much as you like. We have boiled eggs as well. I never really thought we'd be able to do this. So let's eat. Many thanks for the food. They all seemed so happy today. When the spiral tree closed, I told you that was where I must face my final battle. <laughs> I never imagined my battle would be anything like this. Thank you, Captain. I am loath to ruin the moment, but we must consider pest control tomorrow. The butterfly larvae make lunch of our leaves. I don't want to kill them, though. We'll find a way. Oh! And of course, curry powder has dozens of spices. We should experiment with growing them, like coriander. There's a long way to go before we bring back real farming. Today, we've taken a first step. There's still plenty of work to go around, Captain. <laughs>